fifth round knockout when Mayorga then knocked out Vernon Forrest in the third round. Boxing people stepped back and said, well, we've got to take another look at six heads. And this is Antonio Margarita, who may join the elite in the welterweight division. He lost three decisions of his first 12 fights, but he started at the age of 15. Since he's 18, he's won 18 fights in a row over the last six years. Is he a big time welterweight? And the tail of the tape. For Antonio Margarito against Six Heads Lewis, you see the eight-year age advantage for Margarito. Two inches in height, an inch in reach. He weighed in a half pound under the 147-pound limit and unofficially has only put on three pounds since the weigh-in 27 hours ago. Meanwhile, Andrew Six Heads Lewis has hydrated all the way up to 159. So there's a nine-pound unofficial weight discrepancy in favor of Lewis as they go into the ring. Harold Letterman with a reflection on judges scoring. The Antonio Margarito Six Heads Lewis fight is scheduled for 12 rounds using the unified rules. The judges' criteria, the, the criteria that they're going to use to judge each individual round, clean punching, effective aggressiveness, ring generalship, defense, with a strong emphasis on clean, effective punching. Jim. All right, thank you very much, Harold. Now let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino of Las Vegas, Nevada, where tonight, Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated is proud to present an evening of professional boxing for your entertainment. These bouts are brought to you in association with the King of Beers, Budweiser, and HBO Sports. All bouts are sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. The three judges at ringside for this first contest will be Dwayne Ford, Levi Martinez, and Doug Tucker. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, working in his 155th world title belt, Joe Cortez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the Mandalay Bay of Las Vegas, 12 rounds of boxing. This is for the WBO Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing silver trimmed with blue and red and officially weighing 147 pounds. His professional record, 22 victories, including 20 knockouts with only one defeat and a draw with one no contest. From Brooklyn, New York, here is the challenger, former WBA welterweight champion of the world, Andrew Sixheads Lou. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trimmed with green, his official weight, 146 and one half pounds. He has a professional record of 27 victories, including 18 knockouts with one no contest. From Tijuana, Mexico, the reigning, defending WBO, welterweight champion of the world, Antonio Tony Margarito. Right. Joe, those trunks are high, Joe. I know. I, I... All right, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. I obey my commands at all times. The punches here are good. Punches here, they're good. Okay, I want a clean fight. You're not pelea limpia. Okay, remember, guys, I'm fair, but I'm firm. Touch them up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. In uh, left handed, right handed fights like this in the recent past, both Margarita and Lewis have had collisions early in fights that have stopped the fights. Lewis with Ricardo Mayorga in his first fight with Mayorga. And for Margarito, he banged heads with Daniel Santos in Puerto Rico in a fight that was stopped two minutes into the first round. The Luis Mayorga fight also stopped after only a couple of minutes of action. Now they get started here. And you see the southpaw, Six Heads Lewis, 
against the conventional fighter Tony Margarito and Lewis will switch from southpaw to conventional and said he in fact he says he was in the process of switching from southpaw to conventional when he got caught by Ricardo Mayorga in the fifth round knockout loss to the new welterweight champ. Well to everyone's surprise Lewis is being the aggressor here early in the fight. If you want to take someone's title, you better be the aggressor, and you better do come it on, early. Come on, come on, pull it ahead, don't pull it ahead. Winning those first three rounds is very important, trying to take a title if you're going by decision. Break! Break out, break out, break out, break out, break out. Step back, step back, let's go. George's references to the title belt, which is held by Margarito. Break! Break out, break out, break out, break out. Let's go. Margarita's a well-balanced fight. He just put in a right to the body. Lewis, I don't want you holding. Break out. Break out. Get those arms out. Break! Break! break Margarito out. has enormous stamina. If he has a game plan, it's to wear opponents down with right, unbelievable punch out. output and constant high energy. Likes to take him into the late rounds. He says his new trainer wants him to box more, but he hasn't been with him long enough for it really to take. Both fighters are going to the body early, landing a little slight chest punches under the body. Margarito coming under to try to get to the body. Six heads, Lewis jams his right hand into Margarito's body and now catches Margarito against the ropes and tries to catch him with a right hand inside. Two rights to the body and a right upstairs by Lewis, who has come prepared for this first round. He's evidently matching the other guy's enthusiasm with his aggressive, just on him, smothering him. He's not hitting him, he's holding him. Big right hand swipe by six heads. Now he misses the right and takes the short right in return from Margarito. Six heads hitting Margarito right on the belt. Referee Joe Cortez seemed to nod when six heads manager Nelson Fernandez said that hair of trunks is high on Margarito. Margarito was stunned by a left hand from Lewis in that exchange. Apparently, Lewis and his camp believe that Margarito has a hard time fighting going backwards because they're coming into him, trying to smother his punches and, and put him on the defensive. And Margarito with a little sheepish smile at Lewis as they came off the ropes as if to say, boy, you're off to a terrific start here. I didn't really expect this. Lewis was able to land a good straight left hand to the face and that hurt this guy. He didn't even take an adva advantage of it though. This is a big first round for Six Heads Lewis, who has established himself in the fight and seems to have rocked Margarito back on his heels a little bit. And in Antonio Margarito's corner where they speak Spanish, our interpreter is Ray Torres. You should jab and count in him. When he comes in, quickly. When you come in, you, you, you can hold him, but punch, uppercut in the right hand, shortly. And when you're in close, the uppercut, very important. Use your brain. And hit him in that ear. Come on, son. Okay. Come on, good jab, all good jab. Don't, Don't get careless. Right, okay? Don't get careless, come back to your jab. all night long on your jabbing hand. Good. Right. And we go home a winner. Breathe, we man. built your power. Come Did on. you see him laugh already? Breathe. Mm -hmm. All right, breathe. Now, who's the best fucking Don't get careless. Don't get careless. Push. Copy box numbers in round one. Six heads, Lewis. Credited with having thrown 82 punches, the 71 for Margarito. So it's Lewis who bests Margarito's punch output in round number one. This is a lot of energy to expel if you're six heads Lewis because you keep a, keep this energy going. It's going to be hard to keep that energy level going for 10 rounds, 12. It's rough. Margarita is looking just for a little room. If he can just keep this guy off for about five seconds per round, he can get his jab and the longer punch is going. Both of the fights you're seeing tonight scheduled for 12 rounds, although there's no title at stake between Mosley and Marquez. Bring out, bring out, come on. Let's I mentioned in round one how Margarito had smiled at Lewis, and I called it a sheepish smile, as if to say he hadn't expected Lewis's aggression. They commented on it in Lewis's corner and said, did you see the way he smiled? They like that. 
Lewis is able to get in with this right hook anytime he wants. He is beating Margarito to the punch. It's a right hook that uh, Margarita seemed not to expect. Watch your head, watch your head, watch your head. Another looping right hook, partially blocked by Lewis, but Margarita comes back with a chopping right down the middle. And that hurt. A couple of punches like that, you can change things real quick if you're Margarita. You just got to throw the punches, though. Already, Lewis looks more tentative than was the case before as he steps outside and switches to a conventional stance. Step back. You can see that Margarita is very solid. I'm not going to throw him off just by hitting him every now and then. Get him out. Get him out. Get those arms out. Get him out. That's a good idea. You wait. Sometimes if you want to get a break, the ref tell you to move. Let him come and pull you apart. Save that energy. Save that rest. Clear your head up. A lot of fighters break as soon as the referee tell them to, but sometimes that's not a good idea. Let them pull you apart. Six heads, Lewis trying to whoa. The momentum takes a huge right hand from Margarita. Blocked again by a right hand. Now a series of punches, and Joe Cortez stops the fight. What a sudden reversal. A right hand started the end. That fight was ended when he kept holding on when the referee told him to move. I was intended, trying to say, clear your head up. Don't let the referee make you move. Let him come and pull you apart. Lewis yeah. was smart, but not strong enough for the... About a minute right. ago, Antonio Margarito landed a chopping right hand down the middle, and you said, George, that's the kind of punch that can change the fight. Yeah, and In he, retrospect, it did. It really did. It did. Lewis was smart, though. He held on, trying to clear his head. The solid fighters, you just don't discourage them that easy. And the second right hand ultimately led to the finish because Lewis's punches stopped coming after he was hit by that second big right. Oh, yeah. what a puncher. Yeah, six heads, but uh, not one good chin. Well, there, you know, that's the joke. Ever since he's lost to hey, Mayorga, the joke has been six heads, only one chin. No, this guy's got a good chin. This is a puncher. This guy goes right down the middle. He hurts you, takes his time, and picks up where he left off. Yeah, with but those right he, hands, he's he, got a good he, shot. He's been beating top opponents with volumes of punches. In this fight, he took his time like a real boxer puncher and delivered a crushing blow. And, and that crushing blow is going to elevate him into the welterweight picture. That uppercut, that's the thing that shook this guy up for a while. There it is. Yeah, yeah. This that is when Lewis tries to hold. Very similar to Mayorga's shot on Forrest Bingo. against the same rope. Well, and, and just like Forrest against Mayorga, Lewis was trying to back straight up. That, you know what? He wasn't trying. He was being knocked back. <laughs> Those uppercut, that uppercut previously did a lot of damage. And it was a right hand even before this happened. Yeah. The, the, you know, the first right hand, as I said, was a minute before. I don't think Lewis was ever really the same after that. Then the uppercut, then that right hand that caught him right on the end. And Joe Cortez really had no choice here. It is a merciful stoppage that time. So a stunning second round knockout victory for Antonio Margarito over Andrew Six Heads Lewis in a fight in which Lewis got off to such a positive start in the first round, his corner was thrilled, and then Margarito turned it around. A victorious Antonio Margarito. Let's hear the particulars from Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Joe Cortez has to step in and call a halt to this contest. The official time, 2.31 of round number two. The winner by TKO victory and still the WBO welterweight champion of the world, Antonio Tony Margarito. Final CompuBox numbers, Margarito throwing 65 punches in that abbreviated portion of the second round. He doesn't land at a particularly high percentage, but he keeps raining on you, and eventually something solid gets through. Six Heads Lewis kept throwing punches in the second round, but wasn't landing them. 
and that was part of the problem as Margarito just kept coming. Lewis did nothing to keep him off. Power punches, you can see Lewis landing 26 out of 91, the bulk of those in round number one. Margarito 24 out of 95, the bulk of those in round number two. Larry Merchant stands by with the winner. Thank you very much, Jim. Uh, congratulations, Antonio. Felicidades, Antonio. In the first round, he attacked you, perhaps by surprise, and you smiled. Why? In the first round, he attacked you, maybe by a surprise, and you were smiling. Why? Well, yes, Larry. I want to say first, I want to thank God for having won this fight. I want to thank HBO, the company Tabran. Claro que sí, venimos bien preparados, Sabe, sabíamos que era un gran peleador. Nosotros pensamos que en los primeros rounds iba a salir rápido. I want to, first, I want to thank God. I want to thank uh, HBO and Top Rank. We knew he was a good fighter, and I knew we knew he was going to start uh, real quick. Were you smiling because you felt that if this is the way he's going to fight, I'm going to get him quickly? Estabas tú sonriéndote porque eh, pensabas que si así que él, él iba a pelear, tú lo ibas a noquear temprano. Bueno, claro que sí. Ah, decían que pegaba fuerte él. La verdad, pega, pega fuerte, pero venía muy bien preparado por todo mi equipo. Gracias a Capetillo, a todo mi equipo. Venimos muy bien listos para este combate. Sabíamos que, antemano, que íbamos a ganar este combate. Yeah, we knew if, if he started fast, exactly, I was going to get him. I came well prepared. It would, um, we did a great job, and we knew we were going to get him. All right, thank you very much. Let's see if we can run that knockout up on our monitor and you uh, tell us exactly what happened and what you saw at the end of that round. Vamos a ver el knockdown y tú nos dices lo que viste tú al final de ese round. Dilo. Bueno, ahí ahí lo pues sentí que aprendí con ese. I got him with an upper cut. Ahí ahí fue donde donde sentí ahí en ese en la derecha fue cuando supe que estaba mal cuando bajó por completo las manos. And then when he lowered his hands, I knew he was out. Where do you think this puts you among the elite welterweights in the world? ¿Dónde tú crees que tú te pones entre los mejores peleadores de los welter en el mundo? Bueno, sí, claro, gracias a Dios ya soy campeón, pero yo digo que me falta uno para que haga un verdadero campeón. Tengo un buen promotor que es Babaron. Hay otro promotor muy bien, muy bueno también que es Don King. Nada más necesitan hacer la pelea, sea SBO para que haga papel con Mayorga y unificar todo. I'm a world champion, but I need one more. I have a good promoter and uh, the other guy has a good promoter. We need to make that fight with Mayorga. Thank you very much. Congratulations again. Back to you, Jim. All right, Larry. Well, we couldn't have said it better ourselves, could we, George? I mean, what excitement we've got in the welterweight division two weeks ago, the emergence of a sensational forest as he was expected to do in the final of the Olympic trials. Instead, Marquez went to Barcelona, where he roomed with a fellow named Oscar De La Hoya. One and a half inch height advantage for Marquez, equal in reach at 74. They both weighed in at 154 tonight. <clears throat> Unofficially, excuse me. <clears throat> Marquez will outweigh Mosley on our HBO unofficial scale by only.